What's going on everybody? I'm going to do a quick speed run to show you how to set up tabletop simulator within the new Pixelborn, uh, which is webcam based, right? So uh, the first step is you're going to need Pixelborn. I'll put the Discord link in the description below. You'll come to this Getting Started channel, and you'll follow the steps downloading Pixelborn from the Builds folder. So once you have that done, the second thing you need is Tabletop Simulator. You can purchase it for $20 on Steam. Uh, once you have installed it, you boot it up. You're going to need to hit Create, Single Player. Now you're not going to have Lorcana in here. You're going to have to go to the Workshop and Browse. It's going to pull up the Steam community page. You can just type in Lorcana, and boom, there it is. Scripted 1v1 table, that's the one you want. So you'll just, uh, yeah, you'll download that, and then that will populate for you here. So you'll click Lorcana, you'll click Load, it's just going to be this standard blank table, right? So you come over here to Deck Importer at the top, you will um, paste your Dreamborn deck list. Uh, there we go. It's going to import for you. And from there, there are a few key steps in order to make it fit seamlessly within Pixelborn, right? You're going to greatly benefit if you have multiple monitors, because what we're going to do is capture a small version of this screen and put it on a different monitor. You know, if you don't have a different monitor, you're going to have to have it constantly hovering somewhere small on this screen. And when we go to the cropping step later, it's going to make it blurry. So, um, you know, just a piece of advice still works just uh something to be mindful of uh so first things first you're going to want to type in you're going to hit enter you want to hit the little squiggly to open up the system and you're going to type in um you're going to type in spectator spectator activate with resolution 1920 by 1080 d2 negative d2 now, what this is essentially, and I'll obviously paste these in the description so you don't have to know what they mean, but this is just going to open up a spectator window on my D2, my display to my second monitor, and that's the resolution. Now, make sure this is the resolution of your second monitor. If you don't know what it is, right-click your home screen, go to properties, click the monitors, and look at the resolution. And make sure you type that value in, because if it's not right, it's going to look a little funky. So uh, with that, I'm going to hit... D2. Yeah, there you go. So that's what I'm looking at on my second monitor now. Now, if you don't have a second monitor, uh, you will have to do, you can just do spectator window on, and that's going to open up a pop-up. And in within that pop-up window, you can resize it. You can also hide your cards and lock it. If you're going that route, single monitor route, uh, that's the only difference. So from here, we're going to now go back to OBS, right? So let's assume we're looking at OBS. It looks scary like this, right? We want to now open up a game capture. And we're going to specific window. And then we're going to go to the secondary display here, right? Now, if you're doing it the single monitor route, you'll only have tabletop simulator. You'll click that. So boom, there we have it. As you can see, it's now in the way. And it looks good on my OBS, right? So what I will do from here is simply make this as big as I can, right? And fit it. Now from there, I need to go to my player back in Tabletop Simulator and with my OBS to the left of me so that I can clearly view it. Uh, and I'm going to assume you have OBS because you've been playing webcam Pixelborn. If you don't, download it, watch a YouTube video. That's its own. That's its own thing. So uh, from there, we are going to come down here and adjust our view, right? Now, the reason we do this is because we can't have the opponent seeing our cards. Up arrow all the way will make the camera go top down. And from there, you can use the scroll wheel in the middle. And I'm going to aim my camera like right about there, right? Yeah, that looks good. Now, this is very important. So right click, save camera as one there we go so right click on the uh, board save camera one now what we're going to do is go back to the chat stay in system if you're not get back into it and we're going to type in spectator camera load one now in the secondary screen you're going to see now it's not moving 
even though I move this, right? So it's frozen effectively, which is good. So now back in OBS, you're going to take that screen and you're going to hold the Alt key while you crop, just click and drag the bottom there, right? And uh, you can do it to about there. If you want to get really fancy, you can do it to about there. Just keep in mind, you're going to have like, you know, obviously nothing showing on the top and the bottom. And that's okay. If you wanted to stretch it out even further, you could just, you know, things are going to get a little blurrier. Uh, but yeah, that's what it's going to end up looking like here, which is pretty decent. Yeah, from here, you'll just have to draw like normal. You do your opening hand, flip cards. And this way, they know that they can't see my hand. So I would definitely recommend looking at the hotkeys and stuff for tabletop simulator before you like really just throw yourself into matches because there's a lot of weirdness. Uh, getting familiar with the controls is important. Okay, so back in OBS, right? Back in OBS. We're going to come over here and we're going to click start virtual camera, right? Start virtual camera. Very important. Let's go ahead and do that there and turn this back on. Hide this. Okay. So with the virtual camera started, we're going to open up Pixelborn. Now, when we come down here to test, we're simply going to use OBS virtual camera, right? And then you can flip it, do whatever you need. But that's going to look like, um, you know, exactly what you see on the screen there. So it's going to just freeze the spectator screen, not your screen, which you can obviously move and adjust and do whatever you need to. Uh, but it is going to free freeze the, uh, the spectator screen so that you are constantly protected from, you know, showing too much or whatever. 